southbound on Integrity Way. Behind MRPD, southbound now, Little Bighorn. Doing southbound, Little Bighorn, sending it to the south side. Okay. Damn, so Flop is ugly and he's gonna be a lieutenant? Fuck. Oh, westbound capital towards the strawberry guy. Oh, this is a bad time for a fucking this this is a bad time. This is a bad time. going officer hey honey oh my <laughs> god what the oh. fuck no 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 hey hey no! hey you oh no what happened you want the honest answer or do you want the lie oh oh god. i want the honest truth what happened dickhead held up an officer and said i had to shave my head for their oh. release Oh, I'm not sure uh, it was worth it. Does your husband know? Uh, well, considering this happened roughly ten minutes ago, probably not. Oof. Uh, oh, oh no. Oof. Oh, it's okay. Uh, come here. That. I'm gonna make you feel better. Come I'll make you feel better, please. I'm sorry. I. I <sighs> oh, what are you doing? Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Fuck. Oh no. I don't want to talk about. It. Fuck. You'll have a better angle if I angle my head down. <laughs> 24 ads in a row? It shouldn't be that bad. What the fuck? I run ads, but I, I break them up. That's insane. I'm confused if this is Chris's channel or Sab's. God damn it. Hold on. I. Oh, wait, we, we need a. Hold on. I don't know who that is but they slowed down I advise that same uh, white club is uh just leaving boulevard del perro i'm sitting at the hop uh, the secondary one just ads why though i run ads but i you shouldn't be getting 24 in a row white club being escorted by a black dominator i pulled up on them at the original how we by elgin uh, they took the squeeze off Olympic and then went directly to Boulevard to and did another drop up. I think I just saw them in the uh, like North Rockford area. I had a white club pass me and there was a black and colored vehicle that was following behind. I probably saw them about at this point about a minute ago. If they were in North Rockford, they're probably going to go to 68 then. Hey, firm. Driver was on the phone. I did notice it. I had to pull off yeah, for a sec. In yeah. I'm still in Great Ocean. I can put six northbound. But eight ads three times. Yeah, it should so not be that bad. Uh, the thing they do now is they have a like a cover car that's a super fast like, highway bus, and at every drop off, uh, the guy doing the run gets out of the flagged car, 
does the drop off, runs to the guy's window, hands him the stuff, and then they drive off together. So if we chase the 1060 car, they don't have anything because the guy uh, in the cover car has it all. Should we be focusing the cover car then, do you think? Uh, it's tough. I mean, you'd have to see the handoff to be able to articulate why you're going to search them, right? Hey, if you pull over and yield and, you know, accept a speeding ticket, then we can't do anything and we can't get anything out of it. No, because I literally saw them do the handoff at one about an hour and a half ago. Just confirming black club. White club, black, black dominator. Club. Member of the uh, white club is wearing a white. Look, man, th th that guy just drove by us. Helmet on the phone the whole time. I can confirm that that was a guy that drove by me. I'm gonna code six like the Harmony uh, Flika. Copy 125 code six E68. I'm gonna be to your west of Harmony. I'm passing by the ammunition right now. 188 code six the gas station, Great Ocean 68. I think your Twitch just bugged out, honestly. Yeah, that, that's a little crazy. That's weird. I could always look at my, my ad thing too and see if I could try and adjust it, but. It's a good day. I only got five. I will say, I genuinely, wholeheartedly appreciate everybody who does stick through the ads. I know that they're, they, they get to be annoying. Um, doing this full time, I will be as transparent as possible and say that ads help me out tremendously. So thank you to all of you who, who do stick around for them. Yeah, we got a uh, six truck just doing a drop up here at the fleet gun harmony, but no sign of either of those vehicles. Hey, firm. What are the odds that could be by Palomino? Possible. I mean, who knows? Oh, where was that? That was Hawick. The other one on Hawick that I was camping out. God damn it. I was there too. Uh, I I can support streamers. No, it, it really does mean the world. I so I talked about this a lot, and I talk about it extensively. I, know, I never, point. ever, ever. I, I'm probably a very unconventional streamer in the way that I kind of see myself. Uh, I mean, a lot of people talk about subs. I am the opposite. I'd rather. Uh, so it's likely they're let probably people know that west no west one west. is forced to or okay. no one it should be probably inclined could go your route to go to insano road but i don't know oh, fuck. sorry I, I i i thought it was getting yelled at before um and then i'll station up at uh i guess sorry did you, did you I'm, see him I'm listening to radio at the same time i, I never want anyone uh, to feel the need to sub the city. We uh, I, I i just want people to enjoy their time here and, and latest, uh, ping we got I just want you to in, you know, just so enjoy your stay and just be in here. You know what I mean? Like subs help out so much, we but I don't ever want anyone to feel inclined that they need the to do something. Because the, 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 in my opinion, be looking for a white and, color club, and like the opinion of, I would say majority of Twitch streamers specifically is the viewer being here to watch you is the best form of support you can give any streamer. is gonna go sit at a mirror park. Is the black dominator 1060 as well? Negative. It was 74. 188 is going to code six point Vino to North Rockford. Who did the dominator come back to? Uh, let me go. It was a local. I, I didn't recognize the name. Either someone I don't know or a local. See if they pull up here. Oh yeah, I don't know. 
I never want anyone to just feel the need to have to do something. You know what I mean? I've been loving this playlist, Chris. Thank you. I appreciate it. I, I, I've just been enjoying the, uh, I don't know. I, I've been kind of feeling my 70s, 80s, 90s kick. Oh, fuck. Shit, 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 shit. Hello? Hello, I'm on my way to PD for the interview. Okay. Are uh, you come to locker room? Okay, I'm I'm on the way. I am. Okay. Uh, I'll be there in like a minute or two. Okay, I'll have Alice set up the dispatch card and then we'll get on channel five again. Okay, sounds good. Okay, bye. Right, bye bye. Dispatch one twenty five seventy six MRPD uh, ten seven for shift three interview. I apologize. Palomino was clear. Driving behind Tesla Lamb. Yo, Tor Raven, what's going yeah, on? Thank she's you. been kind of flaunting it in her faces. You know, thank you so much for the four that, months. Uh, I appreciate it. How you doing? I hope you're doing well. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate the resub. Can we get a bunch of hearts in chat, please? I appreciate all the support from all of you. Maybe at some point we'll do a uh, we'll do a subathon, but I, I I don't know when I'll have the time right now. I've been so busy with the PD. I don't want to burn myself out either. You know what I'm saying? Set the white club on 68 again. Hey, there's a bunch of flying is. westbound Vespucci. I'm going to try to intercept this white club on uh, Sonora Road coming back into the city. Hey, Baldy. Just so he could let me fucking go. <laughs> What's the rack number? I'll tell you. The top is color seven. And then I changed my accessories to gold, which you don't got to. <laughs> Hello? Are you guys Hello? just hang are you guys just hanging out in the, the locker room? No, we're getting ready for interview. Oh, fun. Yeah. Hey, kid. Are you okay? Hi, kid. Yeah, Sorry that, that that we didn't catch him, but I'm okay. glad you're okay. Wait, yeah. Flop, what the fuck happened? I saved Lucas. Oh, can, oh it looks can, great. Can you, like, Dickhead happened. On? Ah, what? <gasps> can you glue you your hair wig? back on? No. I looked at the barber. Um, I said, here's my badge. I need you to rip this shit off now. Rip it off. Uh, oh. Hi, Tessa. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Bro, I got so many fucking fans in this city, bro.
I don't need your tablet. Lithium ion is not a healthy part of the uh, of the diet. Who's the first person? first person? Okay, we'll go up then. Uh, pull it over. Crawl. Okay. <laughs> And honestly, Flop not looking too bad, to be honest. He, he's kind of a fucking egg now. But it's kind of good. Kind of looks like Richard now. God damn it. You know, I bought a new fake mustache and shaved my head. Is this better? Is this okay? Better than that damn hairline. You did this to me. <laughs> you could have just let me go. I would do anything to save your life. Wow. That's very kind of you, Floppy. Yeah. Can you email me the, uh, our recruitment list again? I don't think it's pinned in our email. Let me see. Do you mean like the schedule or the notes and stuff? Never mind. They're both pinned. All right, chat, we're back to interviews. Look at us go. All right. My eyes, look at how good he is. Well, I kind of just had that dark look, and I think it's because of the outfit, to be blunt. Clarkson is going to be hella confused when he sees not best, okay, okay. right? 10 3. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> is Barrett coming or no? Oh, yeah. Uh, let me let him know. Oh. Hey, Boo Boo, we got an interview. Oh, uh, Cornwall, can you take me to Mission Row? Got interviews. We'll be up in uh, Turner's office. Okay. If uh, you won't judge me, right? It, no. As long as you don't judge me. Okay. All right. I'll see you soon. Bye bye. What's your ETA actually? 60 seconds. 60 seconds. Okay, perfect. All right. I'll see you soon. Hello, everybody. Hello, Mr. Ovar. Is that you, Mr. Dugong? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's me. It's... I liking the fresh haircut, you know? <sighs> hey, thank you. Oh, boy, what happened? It is not on purpose. No, I wanted it this way. Yeah, it looks good on you. You know, the mustache, you're looking like Hitman, like that. Oh, that's a good one. You hear that, guys? It looked like Hitman. 
I like all oh. of your uniform also. What is this like special operation interview unit like that? Actually, it is. Wow. Do you do you do you like the color? Yeah, it's like maroon. Thank you. I picked it. Very good eye. Very good choice. So, madam, what is your name again? <laughs> Alice. I got it. And what is your name, sir? Lucas Lavender. Lucas, Alice, and Mr. Flop. Very nice to meet yeah, you. Yeah, good to meet you. Uh, we have uh, Barrick Johnson on the way. He'll be here in just a minute. Oh, wow. Barrick is coming for me. That's so cool. Yeah, yeah. I have a question also. i asking Mrs. Alice this. Uh, you know, I have so much yeah. trust in you guys. You have so much trust in me. But if we have to extending the interview after the storm, I'm not worried. I hope we can doing that also to taking our time, not rushing things, right? No, you're good. Y yeah, like I told you, we'll just continue after the storm. Perfect. Awesome. Like, um, there's no no problems. We're not having another one scheduled until 3.30. So. Okay, beautiful. So how is everyone's days going? You are stopping all of the crimes, saving the people's? Yeah, you could say that. Hey, Barrett. Mr. Beric, congratulations. This is the first time I'm congratulating you in person. Thanks. You're Thank looking you. great Good as ever. You. Of course, very fantastic to see you. Appreciate it. Okay, guys. All right, the gang's all here. Uh, can we get your ID real quick? Yes, of course. There you go. Thank you, Mr. Obar. Uh, let me just do some notes real quick. Give me just a sec. Um, so to get us started here today, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, of course. So my name is Pullet. I was born in India, in South India. I'm moving to Liberty City like 10 years ago with my brother and his children and my wife. I don't have any kids. In Liberty City, I'm working with my brother, other people, owning a jewelry shop. Living a good life, honest living, that kind of thing. And I just hit my fucking yeah, that is mostly like family life, enjoying the interviews everything are there like that. Today, uh, and I'm hoping not you know, that I many, always have but... interesting in stopping the crime and being a police because in India, we police is so much respected. To... You know, police is almost like superhero. Like all the kids want to be in police. Which is like less that. than yesterday. But it wasn't until one day in the jewelry shop, uh, actually, somebody breaking in. That it is less deciding, than yesterday, but wow, like we'll, this we'll is a very we'll big see. problem. I want to stop in the crime, things like that. Okay. And um you know, what else? Give us some more stuff about you. Like what do you like to do for fun? Well, right now I working with Mr. Abdul at the gas station. I think some of you may have seen me there. Filling the gas, helping the people. I'm religious. I doing yoga all of the time. I'm vegetarian. I don't drink. I don't smoke. Like classical family guy. One day I want to acting. I want to be in movies like this and that, like Bollywood. <laughs> and yeah, my wife leaving me. So my <laughs> personal life, my love life, little bit like sad. But I'm a cheerful guy, you know, so I don't letting that stop me. Could I ask what the reason was? What, was it was it personal, like, or what, was there just something that happened? No, it's that same day at the jewelry shop when the criminal breaking in. I running to him to stop him, maybe tying his hands, calling the police. But when the police came and arrested him, my wife just got so much attracted to that police officer and leaving me. Okay. Oh my god. AJ, I miss you too, man. Oh, are, are you okay? Oh. I'm okay. Everything is okay. Oh good. Uh Mr. Ovar, I I'm 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 gonna ask you a question and you can uh you can answer this how you want to. I I, I do wanna ask. Yes, sir. Actually, I'm gonna ask you this question. Uh how do you do with pressure, being under pressure specifically? I'm very good at dealing with pressure. I'm very much a positive guy. I like to always looking at the bright side. Somebody think the glass is half full for me. 
or wait, sorry, half empty. For me, the glass is half full. You're calling it pressure. I'm calling it extra motivation. That's how I'm seeing it. Okay. I do. I do want to ask you this, and I, I'm I'm not meaning to dig. I just I'm I'm very curious. Of course. If you were to be accepted into the police department, yes. Do you personally believe, and you can be honest about this? Do you believe that? Uh, I, I I guess based on what you've explained to us about uh, your your ex wife, do you, do you, do you think that the job of being a police officer could get in the way? Or maybe could have a negative effect. How so? Why are you thinking that? Well, you said that she she fell for a police officer, right? Yeah. Do you think being a police officer? Do you think? Uh, do you think the occupation, the job? Do you think that would maybe fall in line at some point? No, never. Not at all. Like my duty is always first. You know, I'm telling you, I'm religious. I'm putting core values above everything else. Like honesty, integrity, duty, things like that. Like, yeah, my wife leaving me for police officer, but people ask me, is that why you want to become police? No, it just reminding me that that day, if I can stopping that crime, you know, none of that would have happened in the first place. But also it's just, I already told you, like I have a, I always have justice in my heart anyways. Like, let me give you an example about justice. I working at the gas station you coming there sometimes, other people coming there. Have you meeting a guy named Salim? Many yeah, times. We've met Salim. Yeah. So that guy Salim is like my complete opposite person. He yelling at the guest, demanding tips. Meanwhile, I'm there to give them good service because like I said, I respecting my duty. My duty is to fill in the gas. The tip is secondary optional. I always telling people, I'm not Salim. Don't get angry or upset you don't have to giving me tip i'm just here to help you like that there is no secrets i'm just a very straightforward guy mm. okay i uh... all right alistair lucas do you have any questions if not i i do have another one you can go ahead i'll keep on cooking okay um salim what time did you wake up today you calling me salim did i say salim it's okay. It's I am okay. pull it. I'm sorry. I am. I'm so. I'm so so cooked today. I I apologize. No, it's okay. Um, what time did you wake up today? Uh, today I waking up at like right now for me it's two a.m. I waking up at like twelve p.m. in the afternoon. Would you and and that's EST? Yeah, I waking up at like different times like. Sometimes I hang out in the apartment. Sometimes I go into gas station. Like, but yeah. Okay. So, I'm 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 gonna say this, and I tell everyone that it's meant to be blunt, and you're no different. I'm gonna let you know this is going to be very blunt. Yeah. Uh, do you know the hours of shift three? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I was going to bringing that up. So, I have to working from like two a.m. to ten a.m. Like that, like eight hours, like eight hour shift. Yeah, well, not exactly. Yes. So, so I'll, I'll, I'll explain my side and it'll kind of answer your, your, your question. So, uh, we are hiring for shift three mainly because yeah. we are, we are our own shift, right? Shift three's hiring process, training process is different from shift one. Shift one is different from shift two, vice versa. Yeah. You're applying for shift three. And we are expecting that if you were to be hired, you are going to make yourself and be available from your cadets, your, your cadet phase all the way to your probationary officer phase to be trained in shift three within that. Yeah. Shift. Yeah. I can and, telling you something that will making you go, well, Oof, what a good, yeah, go ahead. I, I, I'm, I'm going to make this note. We're not expecting you to be there the entire eight hours every single day. Right. Yeah. That's not what we're looking for. We just want to make sure that your schedule and your understanding that your your schedule is in line with where we are with shift three and sort of what our expectation is. Yeah, of course. So I can telling you something that will making you relax. So I I learning this word recently. Maybe you're knowing this word. Uh, somebody calling me a little bit of degenerate, like waking up all of the time. Is yeah, that's fair. We like those in shift three. We, we like do. Those. We do. But additionally to that, I'm 
also like playing with the idea of because when I applying, uh, I can only waking up at this time, and then and then I then I waking up at all of the times. But I actually really like the shift three guys. I like all of you guys so much. Mm-hmm. I like this time. It's a very nice time to driving around enforcing because when I first applying, we did not have many police at this time. So I wanted to help. You know, I wanted to become that helping hand. And so I can waking up a couple of hours before up, doing my duties and then coming shift three, doing like six hours like that. So don't ever worry about me not being there. I will always be there. Okay. As long as it works for you, I am going to ask you on top of that. I ask everybody, uh, is there going to be any problems down the road or anything that could come up that might interfere with that? It will not hurt your your chances here, uh, but it gives us an idea. Do, do, you, do you expect your schedule to be open for the foreseeable yeah yeah it is definitely going to be open uh, but life is always emergency sometimes so Absolutely. It, nobody can guarantee all the time but like i will confidently telling you like 90 percent of the time you'll see me here okay 99 percent. okay uh i think that's all the let questions me showing that... mr oh, beric some respect here let me turning to all of you oh you're good you're good um i think that's all the questions i have i think pd related uh lucas or alice do you have any questions Um, you know, you mentioned some things that you like to do, like you like to do yoga. Uh, what do you do on a Saturday night, like a fun Saturday night? Do you have a lot of friends? Do you go out or anything? I know you say you don't drink or smoke. What do you do on a Saturday night? I like to going to the beach. Me and my wife enjoy watching Bollywood movies, but you know, she, she is, she's no longer with me, but I don't caring. I still watching movies, going to the beach, doing, looking at the moon praying from time to time i like to pray all the time it makes me not worry that much and like yeah i don't do drinking and this and that but you know if you guys you know off off of the clock off of the duty going to a bar i'm going to be there to having a little bit of fun you just won't see me drinking any drinks do you think that you could win your wife back or your ex-wife <laughs> don't want her got this job? i'm better i'm better than i was then and i'm too much good for her now so That's some king if... shit. Thank you, sir. So you're saying if she came to you right now and said she wanted you back, you'd say no. I will turning away and then like doing like this. <laughs> Get away from me like that. <laughs> but like what if she got on her hands and knees and started begging? I mean, we are all adults. You know, if she's doing that, then she messing up somewhere and wanted coming to me as like second choice. <laughs> Get away like from that. me. I'll never be second choice to anybody. She made her decision all of those years ago. She has to living with that decision. What if she's changed her mind? I believe in second chances, but when it comes to love, you're sharing so much things with somebody else. It's like you're meeting a whole different new person. Maybe that new person can be welcome back into your life, but... I think there are bigger things ahead of me for my future. Okay. Is that um, bad? Do you do? Would you do that if your ex-husband cheating, leaving, coming back? Would you taking back? Just all depend. Honestly, probably, but at the same time, like, I'm not very relationship oriented, so I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I always. Some people saying unhealthy, but I putting work first. I think duty is above all, all the times. What's your favorite color? Orange. It's a very underrated color. It really is. I haven't heard orange yet. Why is orange your favorite color? Uh, Because all the yogis and the sages and the monks wearing the orange and doing meditation. It's like calming color. It's like, it's very funny because it's like heat. But people don't understanding that it's close to heat, but it's actually very calming. That is fair. Or- orange is sort of a calming color, a little bit. I can kind of see you're it, looking, but... You know, when you're at the beach, closing your eyes, and all the colors going through your eyes, when you're getting that orange, it's like nice, warm, calming. I can kind of see that. That's a good question. Mm. Um... What's your favorite food? I know you mentioned you were a uh, vegetarian. Yeah. So actually I having an idea with Salim and other people to opening Indian restaurant, like just a shooting, shooting the idea. I don't think it will happening, but you know, I liking, so a lot of South 
south indian dishes are like uh i don't know how to saying it in english but it's like uh i don't know it's like a little bit of cucumber this and that making the, the curry eating with rice eating with naan like that roti idli naan is so good it is so good they put in garlic sometimes garlic Now naan could ruin my life exactly if i i, I used to i used to okay. eating chicken i just stopped eating chicken like as i growing up and becoming more religious that's fair i have some questions Yeah, go ahead, Mr. Lucas. Hello, you said you're someone that doesn't fold under pressure. Um, no. how do you deal with stress? And how do you relieve yourself of said stress? How do I dealing with stress? Yeah. So I'm like a logical person. So I like to thinking about why it is I'm stressing, what is happening to me, is this a a good reason to stressing or not? And if it's a a good reason to stressing, I switching my brain to problem solving mode. So how can I solving this problem? Is it a problem I can solve? If it's not, no worries. I can't do anything. Uh, but if there is a solution, I will find it. And to relaxing, like I said, just you know, taking my time off, doing just hobbies, things like that. I want to finding more hobbies. I will admitting that. Hello, do you overthink? Do I overthinking? No, I think just the right amount. Would you say that you're a confident person? Or not? Definitely, definitely. Not okay. overconfident, but I have confidence, definitely. Do you think you're a good teacher? Uh, only if I am confident that I understand the material completely, I can be good teacher. If I have doubts that I don't know everything, I don't want to leading somebody the wrong way. That's fair. If you could visit anywhere in the world, where would it be? Well, number one, I want to visit back to India. But if not India, I actually wanting to go to the France. I'm meeting somebody with a French accent. It's so I used to not liking it, but it's so beautiful now that I'm thinking. I heard the city a little bit dirty, but India sometimes dirty. I have to be honest. So I don't. It's not going to bother me. But France seeming like very much beautiful. What's your favorite TV show? Oh. My favorite TV show. This is going to be funny, but in India they used to playing this. It's like Mr. Bean animated show. I like the original <laughs> Mr. Bean also, but the animated show very nice. What's your favorite movie? Eh? Favorite movie. Indian movie called Doom, D H O O M Doom. It's like almost like Indian version of Fast and Furious. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, it's very cool. I have a question. Yes, sir. You said you vibe a lot with the Shift Three people. Yeah. You had to pick your favorite cop in Shift Three. Oh my! This is a trapping question. No, nope. this is not fair. This is a good question. I answer wanted, the question. I think this is a good question. I'd love to know the answer. Ranks But make aside, sure you give a why. Yeah, there needs to be a why. I want a favorite and I want a least favorite. <laughs> well, well, I I liking you, Mr. Dugong. I liking Mr. Forte. I liking Mr. Beric. I liking Mr. King. Who else? I got somebody else's number the other day. Oh, I don't have to look. There's this guy named uh, Leon. Leon's such a cool guy. Very nice guy. And least favorite cop, if I say something, will you guys be getting angry with me? No, 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 no. So sometime when I am working at the yeah, so I don't having any favorites, but you guys all I liking all of you guys. I naming the rest. I want to meeting them. I'm sure I will loving them too. But my least favorite, not for any crazy bad reason, but I working at the gas station and this guy with orange hair. I think his name McNulty. <laughs> He's like very much brash with me, very much like don't filling my gas, go away like that, like very much short tempered like that. I was just trying to providing a service. I understand if he's in a rush, but I did not liking that. But I cannot make a character judgment based on one one time talking to him. That's fair. Do you feel like th this is actually a, a good segue question? Do you feel like first impressions are? Meaningful to you? Do you do you, do you think a first impression is everything, or do you think first impressions 
are uh, subjective. Yeah, I believe it's very important, but it's not everything. I think I will judging somebody like 70%, but the rest of the 30%, they can building it up over time and changing my opinion. Okay. Uh, Barry, feel, feel free to chime in if you have any questions too. All right, I'm going to ask you the real hard-hitting question and we've spoken about it before. Yes, sir. Are you going to be willing to go to the legislative office and, uh, you know, alter some things? Because I'll be honest, I'll, uh, I'm down to hire you, but that is like the one thing standing in the way. Go to the legislative office and doing what? Got to either uh do you want are you talking about my so, name still yeah yeah i'm talking about your name so the other day so what happened seven days ago that's when i getting the text that i got confirmed mm -hmm. for an interview that yeah. was very much a sad day for me not sad but like uh, mr lucas here saying like one of the stressful days and i went into problem solving mode because slack's telling me he don't like my name this and that so what did I do? Instead of complaining or being upset, I t I'm making moves. I went to the city hall and I asking, can I get my name change? They're telling me I have to re-immigrating, doing this, doing that. And then I learned some information. You guys can tell me how you feel about this. There is one guy hiring to the police force right now named William Shoot. I don't know who that guy is. I don't know if you guys know who that guy is, but I thinking pull it very common Indian name, so much common. And Ovar means Om Var, which is like God city. So it's like a meaningful name. It means a lot. In American accent, it's coming off like a different type of thing. But in in my opinion, it is not like terrible. It gives me a little bit of, you know, my mommy naming me gives me a little bit of personality. If it's that much of a big problem, I will change my name to Mr. Pullet Om, something like that, or OH, something, if, if it's that much problem. But... You know, it you're you're the boss. You you're knowing if you think it's a big problem or not. I mean Do I think it is a massive problem? No. Does it need to happen? Uh if you want to get hired? Yeah, that's the that's the bottom line, unfortunately. Okay. Well, my state ID will changing. My phone number will changing. All of that. I will lose okay. all your contacts. That's all right. We we can help you start off fresh, because I like you, and I you know I have nothing but pleasant things to say. And everybody that I've talked to I have nothing but pleasant things to say. I don't know how these three feel at this time, but that's uh that's kind of where we're at, unfortunately. That's fine. I can do it. It's okay. Yeah. I know it's not I know it's not what you want to hear, unfortunately, but you know. No, it's fair. Like I said, duty I above just all. Just want to be upfront and honest about it. That's fair. I'm it's not a problem. It can be like a nickname that only if you know, you know type of thing maybe. I wouldn't see an mm -hmm. issue with that. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Yeah. Duty above all. But let's not conclude there. That's just one of your questions. I was not asked about case yeah, laws. I just wanted to get that out of the way because it was just on my mind. Yeah. I, I, What's your I favorite space movie? Space movie. Mm -hmm. uh, what is that movie where the alien E.T.? It's not the best space movie, it's but I don't see yeah, too many of them. Yeah, that's understandable. Was that a good a good answer? I, I I do respecting you, so I'll change it. Uh, what? The, I mean, the, the space movie? It's better than Space Jam. It's better than Space Jam. No, yeah. no the, the name. Uh, space Jam was at least funny. Space I didn't think was, Space Jam. Space Jam was very funny. Is that the one funny. with That's Mr. Michael Jordan? Yeah. I seen advertisement for that. I did not see the movie. Yeah, he, uh... Not a space movie. Say that much. Not not a not a space movie. That's fine. What else? 
Um, let's see. We went over. Do we want to saving the serious questions for after the storm, like reasonable suspicion, case laws? I don't think you're gonna be asked about those kind of questions right here, Paul. Mm. Why not? I could probably answer that if you want. Yeah, why? Anybody can learn that. True. I studying. But but what I can't learn without having a conversation with you is knowing who you are. Yeah. Oh. One of the questions that a I asked. A lot of us have been doing this for a long Sorry. time. Go ahead. And at least for me, like a big vision that I have is I don't really care so much about the. I, I mean, obviously, I would like high quality police work to be a thing, but I do not believe that that should uh, overshadow the high quality people that we have within the department. And that is of most importance to me. Wow. See, I knowing you're a special guy from day one. That's no. very, that's very real. Yeah. So you're not going to find yourself being asked about PD related questions for the time being. Cause quite frankly, I don't give a shit about that right now. I just want to know who you are as a person and whether, I, whether we or I think you're a good fit. Okay. And to kind of, whoops, sorry, go ahead. Passes torch back. Tries to grab, misses, lands on Alice. Alice, your turn. Sets room on fire. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, I, that would be something I would do. Um, yeah. I'm going to be honest. I don't, wait, who? Hello? I don't have any um, other questions. I don't know if I actually have any other questions. I think that we're kind of, we're kind of at the crossroads here. I don't know if we can continue if there's too much straight. I don't think I actually have any other questions myself. I don't know, Lucas, if you if you have any other final questions. Uh, but overall, no. I think I'm I think I'm actually good. Okay. I, I guess I guess I'll end this off with asking: Do you have any questions for us? Anything at all? Well, yeah, my my questions were going to be more specific things, but it's good to know that you guys believe that you can training people, but you're wanting the personality, so that's good. But. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to ask the obvious question. I, I enjoyed how the interview went. I think it's good. Uh, in accordance with Mr. Beric, I will go ahead, change my name very soon. Uh, what, what, what are you thinking, sir? Like, if we're done, then I guess we don't have to meeting after the storm. But I was thinking I can just quickly do that after the storm. We're just going to the, uh, what is, immigration office, changing my name. Yeah, and just uh, get in contact with one of us and just give us your information. Your we'll chief now, you know how difficult it will be for Mr. Pullet O, a random guy, to contacting you? Well, you just three, I, I'm not like fucking Jesus, okay? I'm can you can you do me a favor? The boss, favorite? basically. I'm going <laughs> to just remembering, is it, you think I can just remembering your phone number? Yeah, 420, 615. 3257. Okay, I'm going to remember all of your numbers, Mr. Dugong, Mr. Beric, and I will text you after I waking up. So what do you, uh, another question. So what are you thinking? When do you uh, think you're wanting to reach back? Let me know what your consensus all you, of those things. You will get a response back in the next, we're going to call it three weeks or so. Somewhere around okay. the end of the month, you'll 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 get a response. That's the same answer I'm giving everybody. Uh, we still have a couple of interviews to get through, look over our list, discuss, talk, uh, and they go from there. Okay, that sounds fantastic. Uh, one of you will be texting me, or Chastity will be texting me. What will happen? Either one of us or Chastity. Okay, that sounds good. Well, thank you guys so much. I really appreciated it. You know, very good questions. You know, we're already having a little bit of a relationship. I liking you guys. So, you know, hopefully one of these days I will be wearing that uniform, helping you stopping the criminals, all of those things. Absolutely. Uh, I, I appreciate you coming down. Thanks for understanding. We, we had a couple big calls come in uh, at the exact time you were here. So we uh, we were a couple minutes late, which I do apologize. But I, I, I do appreciate you making uh, making yourself available. Of course. No worries. No worries. Well, thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it.
Yeah, of course, absolutely. Uh, I think it's about that time, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, roll over, and I'm sure I will uh, be speaking to all of you soon. All righty. I'm going to be running upstairs. I don't have much time in this building. It might be too late. <laughs> I know, exactly. <laughs> oh, man. I like him. Uh, all right. I made a meme. Fuck. God damn it. What? Is that even flop? That doesn't even look like flop. So he has to change his name for it, but I get it. Um, yeah. I mean, it does kind of suck a little bit, but at the same time, being fair across the board, not the first time that that's been a thing in the PD. We 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 we've told people, you know what I mean. This was a thing back in two point oh. All right. Well, Jake had to change his name originally. Oh yeah, a lot of people do. Okay, sorry. I was, I was putting notes in for the uh, the thing. How's the fishing level? I actually don't have RuneScape open right now. I was doing Blast Furnace a little bit. I need gold. I need so much gold ore. I just don't have the fucking money for the gold ore. I got like a fucking nothing cash stack right now. So I'm probably going to... Probably going to sell some stuff and then power level myself up to level... Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Where am I at? Let's see what we got. Um, I'm out of gold. I am at level uh, 57. I got to get to 60? I need 60 smithing and then runecraft. I am sort of close to a little bit. Uh, I am five levels away from RuneCraft. I could get that done probably in, in a day, uh, doing the mini game. But besides that, I don't think much else is really going on. 1552 total level though. Pretty good. Um, I want to get my strength level to 90. That's my next like big push. I think I also want to get, um, I don't know what else I want to get. I want to get. I don't know. Figure it out. We will see. Oh, I also want to get my construction up to 71, I think is what it was, because I get boosted up from there. Oh, flop. Oh, flop. Look at you, you fucking disgusting fool. All right, we're ready to see who's getting promoted.
All right. Balls? Don't talk about it. Okay, it's okay. Poor flop. Hey. Uh, hello. Hey. You, um, you look... No. You look great today. Oh, okay. Flop! Thank, thank you. Wait, Flop, what the fuck happened to you? Blame Lucas. <laughs> Lucas, what'd you do to Flop? I got kidnapped and to, for me to not die, he, the demands were, were for him to shave his head and give his fake mustache to Dickhead. And he let him go beforehand, so now I just have a fake mustache and no hair. So uh, he's just he's just back to Ranger Flop. See, I Fault. wouldn't say it's Lucas's fault, honestly. Wait, Flop, it sounds like whoever is dealing with negotiations. Oh, oh. There, there it is. Oh, well. There it is. Flop, you saw that picture? Remember? Oh, like, what, what, what sec? Like like I said, Graves, shift two. Oh, okay. <laughs> yep. You know what? I'm, I'm. Oh, oh, Declan, you're on the list too. Cool. Now, Declan, your, uh, your art. Report would be a that's a good one to to maybe send over to him. Hey, that might be a good one. Why are you bald? Don't ask questions. I, I, it's a long story. It's a long one. Let me let me call uh, my best friend, Dickhead. Hello, this is Dickhead. Kidnap cops. Hello, if you're talking, I can't hear you, bitch. Yeah, I didn't want to fucking listen, buddy. You bucko. fucked up. I got your number. Yeah, I got your number. Damn oh, right, hell man. I'm gonna yeah. have your ass on block. Don't worry. Hey, let, me, okay. let me make this clear. Let me make this fucking clear. I got clear. a question. How's your hair on your head doing? B fucking terrible. It's a goddamn mirror. Oh, you actually shaved your head? I shaved the fucking head. I was on my way to you, and you let Lucas go. They, I was going to turn myself in, then they told me to turn around, and we slid all the way down the hill and almost died, so I just said, get the fuck out, and I drove away. Oh, so I just have to deal with no fucking hair now because of you? Yeah, yeah, you do. Whose fault is it? Sounds like it was now your you, fault. Now your husband really ain't going to love you, bitch. Listen, all I'm saying is I, I, I could probably get a good polish on this thing. It could probably look pretty good. You might have helped me. I don't think I have, okay? That's just what bothered men tell themselves to feel better. I don't know. I looked in the mirror today and I said, you know, Hitman's a good luck. <laughs> well, I'll see. I'll see you around. I'll be around for a while. I'm going to kidnap you, figure out what I'm going to do with you. Fucking A, dickhead. You better not. Oh, they, hey, you better I'm, not. You better I'm, not I'm, do that. I'm hanging. 